Hi there, this is the uh, final video in the Stuart Half Beam series and in this video I'm going to paint the little engine and then uh, assemble it again and do a final run on air and you never know, maybe on steam. So when I took the engine apart I marked up um, a, a number of different components because uh, I want to make sure that when I reassemble it again um, these components go back in the uh, right orientation. So for example the pedestal. So I've put on here three uh, punch marks and made a note in my little book as to what that means. So when I come to reassemble it I'll look in my book, look at the three punch marks and that will tell me which way round it needs to go on the base. And I've done that on a number of parts and for example the, the main bearings I've got three punch marks on there and my notes will tell me um, whether it goes on there or whether it goes on here and uh, which, way, which way around it should go as well. Uh, so hopefully when I reassemble it everything will be as it was before when I did the test run. Now I've used this acid 8 as a primer, it's an etching primer and I, I've used it before on uh, some of well, my other models that I've made and it seems to work really well on this um, cast iron, I, got, I think I got that from Halfords. So um, on some of them I sprayed and on others I just sprayed a bit into a, a container and then used a paintbrush to, to paint um, inside the various components. Um, so on some of these I've gone over the edges so I'll just um, tidy all that up with uh, some sandpaper. Um, probably before um, I put uh, a gloss coat on. Now in terms of the finish I'm still unsure as to what colour to go for. Now, a lot of grasshopper engines um, seem to be green, which you know is, you know, seem, seems to be the right colour for a grasshopper. Um, but I must admit, I, I sort of fancied that. I bought that for this engine, but I'm still undecided. Um, but anyway, once I've decided and I start painting, I'll get back to you. Well I've hand painted this but I must say I'm very unhappy with the finish, it's gone very streaky so um, I think what I'm going to do is once it's dried I'm going to sand it down a bit and then finish it off with a, a bit of spray and uh, I think I'll probably um, use my uh, spray for, for this uh, and I'll hand paint these, that's the plan. Well in the end I decided to paint it green and I used a paintbrush on all the components, I didn't do any spray painting and uh, I also uh, decided to mount it on this piece of wood and attach the piece of wood to this metal plate. So that's resulted in this pedestal uh, being just slightly too high. So what I need to do is to calculate how much to take off the bottom of these feet. Um, so uh, once I've done that I'll get back to you. Okay so I reckon there's about 20 thou to come off the bottom of the pedestal so I'll uh, take off 10 thou at a time. Oops. That didn't work, did it? Okay, so one of the advantages of doing your own videos is that you can go back and look to see how you did it previously. So I've just gone back to part 10 where I machined the pedestal and this is how I held it um, originally. So I'm uh, going to use the same approach. And uh, that looks uh, pretty symmetrical, or perpendicular even. So I'm just going to take 20 thou off the bottom.
that seems to have worked out okay so far. Nice and secure. Well I've managed to uh, put some of this uh, graphite yarn around the uh, piston groove so hopefully uh, I managed to get it fitted okay. Hey. Put the gasket on. Put a bit of oil on it. Put some in there. Well the connection of the beam uh, went very well, uh, very straightforward. Um, so now it's just a matter of connecting up the uh, valve assembly. Well that footage was taken about four weeks ago and I since got sidetracked making my new workshop which is going to be dedicated to model engineering. Uh, but anyway, today I've managed to um, spend a couple of hours finishing off the uh, half beam and uh, I hope you like the result. Well, I've uh, oiled up all the uh, moving parts with this syringe. I've also put a bit in the inlet to uh, lubricate the piston and the cylinder. So we'll give it a try on air. Sounds all right. Well that seemed to go okay and uh, you never know, sometime in the future I might get a chance to uh, run it on steam but for the meantime it can take uh, pride of place in my new workshop. So I hope to see you later. <laughs>